More than 24 hours after the National Labor Commission ordered striking Senior Staff Association of Universities of Ghana to return to work, members of the association were yet to return to the classroom at the time of filing this report. The Senior Staff Association of Universities of Ghana have declared an indefinite strike over what it describes as poor conditions of service. But the Executive Secretary of the National Labor Commission, Ofusu Asamoa, insists majority of the demands of the workers have been met. Whilst negotiations are going on, meetings have been held, other meetings have been scheduled to be held to resolve the problem. Uh, it is unfortunate that um, one party will decide to go on strike, especially when in the course of negotiation, some of the issues have been resolved. Joy News checks Wednesday at the University of Ghana Basic School showed that the school was relying on few SAC teachers interns and national service persons. Headmaster of the University of Ghana Basic School, Mr. Alfred Kujo Alote, says the strike is affecting the smooth operation of the school. It was an initial strike action where we had to close down for about three weeks. And so we felt that pushing away the academic year, academic calendar for another, another number of weeks was going to actually put our activities into disarray. So what we did as a stopgap measure was to deploy a certain category of teachers into the classrooms. And so as I had mentioned earlier, we are using our teachers who belong to FUSAC. We are using class assistants. By class assistants, I mean some category of staff that have diploma in basic education and we've taken on as assistants for the KG department and class one. So they are handling the classes in the absence of the substantive teachers. We also using national service personnel who are with us. And also student teachers from University of Education, University of Cape Coast and University of Ghana. Because really, really biting. I mean, it's it, it hitting us in terms of supervision of children and all that. You know, the service personnel aren't many and so it's a bit difficult. You know, the headmaster also wants government to speedily resolve the concerns of the association so the members can return to the classroom. We also want to add that probably the government quickens um, its reaction to whatever thing they are requesting for. And I think that when that is done, it will help all of us in the, in the, in the system. And so, we only, as I said, we are adding our voice to their request so the government will meet their request as early as possible that we resume and have the full complement of staff. Students at the Kane USD Basic School, for instance, have had to stay home as a result of the strike, whilst at the UCC Basic School, students have been idling due to the unavailability of teachers. The strike has affected our teachers and some of them are not even coming to school. So I will appeal to the government that they should try and stop the strike and pay them with their money so that we can get learning affected. The teachers are gone and as we are in the class, we are not doing anything. All we are doing is fooling and one day one day we will not get any job to do.